Hello and welcome to Real Numbers Part 3. Here we'll be taking up numericals based on HCF and LCM. Before we start solving the questions on this HCF and LCM, we need to understand the words of the question very carefully because the words of the question suggest whether we need to find the HCF or the LCM. Let's take the first one. Find the smallest number which when increased by 17 is exactly divisible by both 520 and 468. That means the number that we're supposed to find out is exactly divisible by both these numbers. So this word over here, these words over here will tell us whether we need to find the LCM or the HCM. Now, if the number is divisible by both these numbers, definitely it must be greater than either of these numbers. So, and it must be a multiple of these two numbers. So we need to find the LCM in, these, in this case, and we'll find the LCM of 520 and 468, and then see what has to be done with 17 in the question. So this becomes 260, this is 234, this becomes two ones, this is zero, this is two ones, two ones, 217. I can take two again, uh, but 117, they will remain as it is, 13 fives, 13 nines. 9 5 is 45, 45 2 is 90, 360 into 13. So this becomes 13 zeros, 13 6 78, 7, 13 3 is 39, 46, 4, 6 8 0. I stopped the procedure here because these two are co prime numbers. Now the question says this number has been increased by 17. So this 4680, of course, is a complete, uh, will be completely divisible by 520 and 468. But because it has been increased by 17, we need to remove 17 from this number. So we'll get here 3, this will be 6, this will be 6, and this will be 4. So 4663 is that particular number which will, which when increased by 17, will be exactly divisible by 520 and 468. Let's take the second one. What is the smallest number which when being divided by 35, 56 and 91 leaves a remainder of seven in each case? So here again, on being divided by, that means the number is greater than either of these three numbers. So we need to find the LCM of these three numbers, 35, 56 and 91. So this being divided or divided by or is divisible, these are the words which would allow you to decide whether you need to find the HCF or the LCM. Obviously here also the number is greater than either of these three numbers. So we find the LCM, this becomes five, this becomes eight, this becomes 13. Now these are co prime, so we stop the uh, procedure here. This will be 40 into 91, that is 910 into 4, that is 0, and this is 3640. Now, this 3640 is an exact multiple of either of these three numbers. But the question says it must leave a remainder 7. So, obviously, if we add 3640 plus 7, the new number that we get, 3647, will give a remainder 7 when divided separately by 35 or 56 or 91. The next question is, find the smallest number which leaves remainders 8 and 12 when divided by 28 and 32 respectively. So the number is again being divided by 28 and 32. That means once again, the number is greater than either of these numbers. So we need to find the LCM. So 28 and 32, first we'll find the LCM and then we'll see what we have to do with the separate remainders. So this becomes four, this becomes 16, this is two, seven, this is eight. These are co-prime, we'll leave the procedure here, seven, eight, 56, 56 into four, that will give us 224. So now getting back to the question and the remainders, 28 minus 8, the divisor is 28, remainder is 8. This will give us the difference as 20. 32 minus 12, this will also give us the difference as 20. So whatever be the number of divisors over here and the different remainders that you get, 
you will always find that this difference divisor minus remainder is the same in this type of question. So this difference that you get, that needs to be removed from the LCM of these numbers. So we get here 4, 0 and 2. So 204 is a particular number which when divided by 28 will give us a remainder 8 and which when divided by 32 will give us a remainder 12. So this was slightly different from the previous question where we had the same remainders. Now the next question is find the largest number which on dividing. Now the question says on dividing these numbers, that means the number that we have to find out is dividing these numbers and it is giving the remainders 1, 2 and 3. So if it is dividing these numbers, obviously the number is smaller than these numbers. So that means when the number is smaller than the given numbers, we need to find the HCF of the number. So here we'll find the HCF of these numbers, but not of the given numbers in question, but we'll remove the remainders from the question numbers. So this becomes 1250-9377 minus 2, that is 9375 and 15628 minus 3 that will give us 15625 because now these new numbers after removing the remainder will be uh, exactly divisible by the number that we find out and the number that we find out will be the HCF. So 9375 all right we'll take the help of Euclid's division lemma to find out the HCF 9375 you can do any other method also that suits you so 1, 2, 5, 0, I'll take approximately 7 times, 7, 0, 0, 7, 5, 35, 3, 7, 2 is 14, 17 ones, this is 8, 7, 5, 0, 5, 2, and this is 6. So this will be 1, 2, 5, 0 into 7 times plus remainder is 6, 25. Next step, 1, 2, 5, 0 is equal to 6, 25 into 2 plus the remainder is 0. So 625 is the HCF of the first two numbers. Now let us check out whether it is also the uh, HCF of the last number, 15625. So 15625, let us see how many times it's divisible, whether it's completely divisible or not. So this becomes 625. And uh, if you just check it out, say 625, even if you multiply by 20, you are not going to come very close to this 15625. So let us take 25 beyond that because the last digit is 5. So I'll check with 25. 25, 5 is 125. That is 12. 25, 2 is 50. This becomes 62. Carry over 6. 150, that is 156. So this is into 25 plus 0. So 625 is the HCF of the three numbers. That means when the original numbers are divided by 625, you will get a remainder 1, 2, and 3. But when these numbers are divided, after removing the remainders, you will not get any remainder. All right. So here the word was on dividing. So that must be taken into account. Next question. A rectangular courtyard is 18 meters, 72 centimeters long and 13 meters, 20 centimeters broad. It is paved with square tiles of the same size. Find the num least number of tiles that are needed. So here we need to fix up this courtyard with tiles. And the size of the tiles must be the same. They must all be square tiles. So first thing that we need to remember is area of the courtyard will be equal to the area of the tiles. And here the length of the courtyard is 1872 centimeter and the width is 1320 centimeter. Now to first find out the size of the tile, each uh, tile that we need to put in this courtyard, we need to find out the common factor between these two numbers, the length and the breadth. And after finding the common factor, the HCF between these two numbers, we need to find out the number of tiles. So first let us find out the size of each tile that is needed. 1872 is equal to 1320 into 1, obviously. So let us uh, check it out what difference we get. 1872 divided by 1320. 
one times it is one three two zero that is two five and five so plus five hundred and fifty two next step one three two zero becomes the dividend five fifty two of course it will be two times let us check it out one three two zero into two this will give us four ten and eleven so what is the difference six and this is one and this is two so plus 260 next step 552 becomes the dividend 260 of course into 2 so this is uh, 552 uh, let me do it the side so this is 552 divided by 216 2 times 6 2 is 12 and this is 2 and this will be 4 remainder is 0 this is 2 and this is 1 So plus one twenty. Next step, two hundred and sixteen is the dividend one twenty. Of course, into one times, and the remainder will be ninety six. Next step, one twenty is the dividend ninety six is the divisor one times, and the remainder will be twenty four. Next step, ninety six is the dividend twenty four is the divisor into four plus zero. So twenty four is the HCF of these two numbers. That means the size of each time. Must be twenty-four centimeter. So now to find out the number of tiles needed, we must remember that area of the courtyard, area of the courtyard, must be equal to the area of the total number of tiles, area of the tiles, all the tiles. So here, area of the courtyard is one eight seven two into one three two zero. And area of the tiles will be twenty four into twenty four for one tile. We don't know the number of tiles, so multiply it by n, the number of tiles. So n will be equal to one eight seven two into one three two zero divided by twenty four into twenty four. So if I start with twelve, twelve two is twenty four, twelve one is twelve, and this is one, and this is zero. So two, this becomes fifty five. Again with twelve, twelve twos. This is twelve ones, twelve sixty-seven, twelve five sixty, and this is uh, uh, seven remainder, twelve six seventy-two. Again with two, two ones, two, two seven fourteen seventy-eight. So now seventy-eight into fifty-five. So this will give us eight five forty four seven five thirty-five plus four is three ninety zero nine three. So this is zero nine twelve four. So four two nine zero, four two nine zero is the number of tiles required. So first thing that we have to keep in mind to find out the uh, size of each tile, we need to find the HCF of the length and breadth. Secondly, to find out the number of the tiles, the area of the courtyard must be equal to the area of the tiles. Moving on to the next question. In a school, there are two sections: section A and section B of class ten. There are thirty-two students in section A and thirty-six students in section B. Determine the minimum number of books required for the class library so that they can be distributed equally among the students of section A or section B. So it has to be distributed equally. First thing, secondly, or section B. Now, if the number of the books have to be distributed equally to these two sections, which have different number of students, then definitely the answer of the for the number of books will be the LCM. The number that you obtain must be a multiple of both these numbers, so that it can be distributed equally to each of the sections separately. Because the word over here is all. So, if I divide this by two, I get here sixteen. This is eight. This is Eight and this is nine. These are four prime. So let us leave it over. Nine eight seventy two seventy two into four. That is four two eight seven four twenty eight. So two hundred and eighty eight books are needed. So that if we choose either of the sections A or B, it can be distributed equally among the two sections. You can check it out if you divide thirty two. Uh, sorry, two eighty eight by thirty two. All right. You will. Uh, it will be. A, it is a multiple of thirty uh, two. Similarly, thirty-six to eighty-eight is a multiple of thirty-six, so it can be distributed equally among either section A or section B. 
on a morning walk, three persons step off together and the steps measure 40 cm, 42 cm, and 45 cm. What is the minimum distance each must walk so that they can complete the same distance in complete steps? So they, are, uh, they have to complete the same distance. That is the first thing. Second thing, they have to complete the same distance in complete steps. That means each must cover the same distance in complete steps. So if I have to find that uh, complete steps, uh, find out the number which will give, uh, which when divided by 40, gives the same answer, 42, same uh, complete steps. All right. We need to find the LCM of these three numbers, that is 40, 42 and 45. We'll find the LCM of these numbers because the LCM will be the multiple of these numbers. So when you divide them separately by each of these numbers, you will get an exact number of steps. So let us say this is 220, two twos, this becomes 1, this is 45. I can take 3, this is 20, this is 7, this is 15. Uh, we can again take uh, 5, 4, this is 7, this is 3. So these are co prime 7 plus 20. Uh, let's uh, get back to multiplying this 5 plus 20, 23 is 60, and 60 into 5 is 300, and 300 into 7. Uh, once again, 7 5 is 30. Uh, this is 7 plus 28. Or uh, let me do it this is 5 3 is 15, 15 to 30, 33 is 90, 90 into 28. So this becomes 280 into 9. This is 0, 9 is 72, 7, 9 is 18, 9 to 20, 2, 5, 2, 0. So 2, 5, 2, 0 centimeters must be covered by each person so that if we take out uh, the complete steps, uh, we will get complete steps covered by each person. Because uh, 2520 is a multiple of each of these numbers. So if I divide 2520 by 40, I'll get an exact answer. And if I divide by 42, I'll get an exact answer. And similarly, by 45, I'll get an exact answer. So 2520 centimeter or 25.20 meter. So this is the answer that we need over here. Next, uh, with this video, uh, next I'll come to the end of this video with these questions. So hope you like the explanation. Kindly like and subscribe the channel. And the next topic that I'll take up is polynomials. Thank you for watching.